probably start out doing like a seven day. Yeah, probably start out doing like a seven day fast, and then after that, then I do a fourteen, then a uh, a fourteen, then a twenty one, then a thirty or something. I don't know. Uh, like I said, eat better, train, start training like I should, uh, and uh, yeah. Um, I don't have anything. And what else has been going on? Um, that's about it, I guess. Uh, oil pulling, food grade diet to meet your earth. Don't forget, uh, I've been drinking a lot of, uh, I think I'm going to drink some today, a lot of, uh, green tea with organic coconut sugar, organic green tea. So, and I did get, where did I get that at? BJ's or Costco's? Oh, um, on the car, my car, anyway, I still have to get it painted this year. Uh, my wheels and tires, I'll probably end up getting it on uh, uh, Black Friday of 2017. That's where all the best deals are. I know BJ's has a good deals on those KO2 tires. Um, they had a great, actually, they had like a, like 150, they was giving you... $70 off a tire plus throwing in the uh, road hazard warranty, which is regularly like 60 I don't know if it's like $60 for that or something. I don't know. So I think totally it came up to like $130. Um, they have the Rockstar 3 uh, wheels, rims, um, and uh, they look pretty sharp. So wheels and tires... Black Friday of this year, definitely, definitely going to get it, um, and getting the car painted and getting a few other stuff done, and who, who knows, uh, get my body back in shape, um, and that's about it, probably, like I said, uh, limit my, I don't, like I said, I don't really go out much, and like I said, I'm going to stop eating out, if I do get hungry, just wait till I get home. But I love to eat. That's one thing. As you can see, I would love to eat. Like I said, I'm about 197, about 200, 197. Once I start working out my way to start going back up and I start leaning up more, you'll probably see that. Um, Yeah, probably work out. I'm going to try to do something every day. It's like seven days a week. Uh, minimum five days. Uh, cardio. Um, probably do like some, uh, jog and walking with my weight vest, jogging with 50, a uh, 50, 50 pound weight vest, uh, uh, walking with 75 to hundred pound weight vest with ankle weights and, uh, uh, five to 10 pound dumbbells. Um, up and down hills, believe it or not, but I'm going to start, I said, I haven't done it in a while, so I have to start up slow and, uh. Yeah, and that's some other things. So, anything else? I think that should be... Uh, oh, I saw some interesting things on YouTube. Uh, uh, RX Muscle. Definitely check them out. RX Muscle with Dave Palumbo. Um, Enhanced Athletes. It's a, it's a, he's a former lawyer who's into body. He's into body. He talks a lot about drugs and stuff. And I like, he's very entertaining. You can watch him. Uh, this vegan guy, God, I just, he's very, I just got finished watching it. He's pretty, I can't think of his name offhand. When I do, I, I'm going to let you know. Um, Rick Drayson. Rick Drayson has a great YouTube channel. Very, yeah, he has a lot of good guests, good guy. He's out in California. Uh, who has Alex Jones, of course, on YouTube. And, um, the Drudge Report, that's on the internet. Uh, he should have a YouTube channel, but he doesn't. Um, yeah, so I found myself... Uh, I don't really l even look at hardly any TV anymore, to be honest, because I'm so entertained by YouTube. So much different things you could learn. Probably one of the greatest adventures is YouTube. Or, yeah, the internet, YouTube. Um, but you still have to use your own uh, uh, mind to and common sense, and, and, you know, you have to do your own research on, on, on things, just don't go by the YouTube, you know, you know, get books from years ago, and, you know, if everything syncs up, then, 
like I said, you gotta use your own mind to decipher what's what's good or not. Um, like I said, I'm drug free. Um, like I said, I uh, so much drugs out there nowadays. I mean, it's kind of scary what people, guys and girls, are taking. Uh, and it's a shame because you would think uh, professional bodybuilding or uh, those fitness athletes, you would think they'd be like um, very into their health. But the, rem the amount of drugs, I mean, that stuff is toxic. Whether you're talking, whether it's steroids, diuretics, insulin, that stuff is very harmful to your body. I mean, you're introducing a unnatural substance, a chemical compound into your body. Do people realize? Just like I don't believe in vaccines. I don't believe in none of that stuff. You can heal yourself naturally. If you have a broken bone, you can set it, put comfrey root, C-O-M-F-R-E-Y, comfrey root. It's from kawaiipharmacy.com, Q-A-U-A-I, something like that. Kawaii Pharmacy, F-A-R-M-A-C-Y, Kawaii Pharmacy. Dot. You got something called Comfy Boo. You could probably get it on Amazon, too. Mix it with distilled water. It's like, uh, and, it, and it tightens up like a cast around whatever problem, uh, whatever bone was was bothering you have like knee problems or back problems you can put the comfy one and it tightens up like like a like a leather cast and you just reapply it when it starts breaking off or just put like try to tape around it to keep it on and it helps to put nutrients back into the bone also has to do a lot with the food you eat getting sun being grounded uh, getting grounded walking on the, on the grass i know it's hard to do now where i'm at it's kind of cold out but walking on the green grass Getting grounded, um, uh, reading the Bible, of course, or, uh, you know, talking to God, Jehovah. Um, it's a lot of things you could do. Being more spiritual, being more holistic, uh, not dependent upon uh, the poisons that's out there, whether over the counter, under the counter, whatever. Um just be aware of what you're taking in. I know it's hard sometimes, but yeah, you got to be aware of what you're taking in into your body. You're drinking alkaline water, you can make your own from distilled water. You could put it, I have a water distilling machine, but they got different distillers. Put it in a glass jug and let the sun hit it by the window and you could leave it there for an hour or whatever, a whole day or week, or whatever. And then you could, um, uh, you could add Himalayan salt. And what I do, I have the coarse Himalayan salt. I put in a separate small jar. And I and just add distilled water to that. And then the water would be real salty. You just add like a five teaspoons into like a half gallon jug or something. And that'll mineralize the water. You could also do uh, baking soda. Add like a teaspoon of baking soda. Teaspoon of borax. Uh... Uh, uh, turmeric, cumin, black cumin is the best. I don't know what I did with mine, but if you got black cumin, that cures a lot of things. Puts a little bit of black cumin in that grind. You might have to grind it up. Uh, black cumin, unless you got the black cumin powder, but black cumin. That's why you should always invest in a Vitamix and a good juicer. The Vitamix and juicer you can get at Bed Bath and Beyond because if anything goes wrong, when you can always take it back even years later. Always save the box and receipt. But if you don't have it, they should have you on record. But I would suggest putting the receipt in the box and keeping it. Um, yeah, and uh, what? And I also add you can add honey, add honey to it, and I add a little maple syrup, maple syrup in it. And uh, yeah, and it's alkal basic alkaline water. How you could test the alkalinity? You could get those pH test strips at the uh, at those different. Uh, um, animals, what animal stores, those dog and cat, uh, pet stores. And, uh, they got this pH test strips. You could test your own saliva and test the water. And it usually come up, come up around blue or purple. So I would say anywhere from seven to 8.5. So it's, it's not acidic and it, but it's, it's alkaline. It's definitely alkaline water. Um, so that's very good for you. Help them and add a, add some drops of that uh, iodine. Get the good iodine from crystals. That's what you want to get. 
And like I said, I'm going to get mine. Actually, I'm gonna, when I get off and eat, I'm going to order mine from Infowars.com. Yeah, order me a couple of, couple of those. Add it to the water and see what happens. Iodine is good for everything. Also, fasting. Fasting resets your body um, uh, for many health problems you have. You got to eat clean. Um, doing your oil pulling every day. Food grade diet to meet your earth. You could do like a toxic um, to, to help remove the toxins from your body. Also, you could soak once you, but you can't be taking prescription drugs. You could use your own urine. That's after, I would say, after you've, uh, um, that's after you've had, you know, your diet is basically you detox. You can use your own woman uh, urine in a foot bath and soak your feet in that, which helps to remove toxins. And it's good for, like, if you have uh, uh, nail fungus. I had bad nail fungus for years, and I was too scared to take. It's a drug you could take to help to remove it, but you have to take it internally, and it's hard on your liver. So I never took the drug. And by me, and I've been soaking for my feet for over a year. It's cleared up. It's the difference between night and day. So if you have nail fungus or athlete foot, just soak your foot in your own urine. Also, you could just drink your own urine. You could bathe in it. You could use it for your clothes. You could also put it in your, use it as fertilizer for your grass. There's so much uses for urine. You need to look it up on YouTube. So it's very beneficial. Uh, and that's a lot of things, a lot of, you know, because doctors don't really care. The only thing they care about is you know, making money. And I always said the pharmaceutical, these pharmaceutical companies, they're like multi-trillion dollar, it's like a trillion dollar business. They get money when you're sick, not well. So if they develop a cure, and plus they don't have cures. You know, the only person that has cure is God. He's created everything. You could cure yourself of everything on this earth. You can even grow back limbs, and uh, but that has to do with your belief, your love of God, and and a lot of meditation in God, and you actually grow back your limb, stuff like that. Um, that's what I've heard, and I'm actually believing that. Um, so there's a lot of things out there that you could do on your own. Like I said, living a spiritual, holistic lifestyle, organic, natural, uh, lifestyle. Um, so it's up to you whether you want to make the changes or you want to be closed mind. You don't believe in this. You got to have, you should have an open mind about everything because what they teach us is only, uh, a lot of things they teach us is really, is wrong or you can't even use in life. And I noticed that. The real ancient secrets from from God is hidden, of course. Most of it is hidden. Uh, from the different tribes. Uh, the first thing that uh, in, a, in the first Gulf War, when the United States went to war, the first thing they raided was the museums because they had ancient artifacts. I mean, real ancient stuff that has power. And that's what the uh, soldiers was finding in these caves. Uh, a lot of uh, ancient, uh, like an ancient flying machine, a, a time machine, a lot of ancient stuff. And they even found a live giant. And I think he took out a squad of Marines and then they finally took him down, brought him back. So a lot of this government is corrupt. Uh, a lot of ancient secrets that will, you would never know about. Underground bases you have. They're dealing with aliens, which I think are re really uh, demons or fallen angels who created these aliens and wanted to deceive us. And I don't know why God is allowing all these crazinesses. I really don't. I know because he could stop it at any time. I guess he has a special purpose. I don't know what it is. I'm still trying to figure it out. Especially when you have bad things that happen to good people, kids. And I don't understand why he allows all this wickedness in this world. Uh, it's one thing to have Satan running around acting a fool. But when he when people hurt other people for no reason. 
You know, I have a problem with that. But anyway, um, we're just talking about a lot of stuff today. Uh, I don't know what else to talk about. So I don't know what your plans are today. So hopefully you try to live a good life. Uh, put your faith in the Lord. You love God. And then you don't have to go to church. I don't go to church. Uh, but some sort of churches are pretty good, I guess. I don't know. Um, so this is a new year, new beginning. Like I say, if you got any questions for me, leave a comment or just text me at paulbodybuilder at gmail.com. Let me know what you want to talk about. Try. I'm going to try to make videos more often now. Like I said, I've been in a, a depressed mode right now. And, uh, yeah, so that's about it. Trying to get back in shape and stuff. It's going to be a journey for me because I hate being sore and I can't lift like I used to lift. But that's okay. It's good to take breaks and let your and reset your bodies. I I want to do that anyway. Like I said, do like a thirty day fast once a year when I'm not only working out. I'll, I'll probably lose muscle yet, but my spirituality will grow. My body will detox even better so and i want to work up to like maybe a work up to a 90 day fast <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be real tough because i love to eat um yeah that's about it folks all right well have a great new year i hope all your dreams and wishes come true uh uh love god uh keep your friends and and loved ones close of course and uh have goals and dreams and reach for the stars until next time see you